Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rides. I am here deep within Los Angeles, California, at a secret location for something exciting that you have been waiting for and I have been waiting for from that iconic luxury Japanese brand. What is it? It's this vehicle right here. This is it. This is a 2025 Infiniti QX80. This is your top trim known as the Autograph. But before we get into this full-on, full-size, full luxury SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. Obviously, the SUV craze is still going tr strong in the auto industry, and when it comes to full-size vehicles, you have your favorites. Of course, you have the OGs of the luxury segment, the Lincoln Navigator, the Cadillac Escalade, Jeep has brought back the Grand Wagoneer. Well, guess what? Infinity has been waiting. They've been plotting their strategy for a renaissance, a full-on rebirth, not only of their brand, but of course, bringing style, technology, and special bespoke features that you come to expect when you go luxury SUV. Now, this brand that's been around since 1989, I remember when I was a kid, really shook the auto industry because it was all about the German Euro brands, those luxury brands, Mercedes-Benz, BMW, Audi. Well, guess what? Infinity is ready to take back that top position that they worked so hard to earn. And I think what you're gonna find is it's been fully worth the wait. So what I wanna find out is if you're looking for a new full-size luxury SUV and you don't wanna go with those brands that I mentioned, you want to stick with that iconic Japanese brand known as Infinity, does this QX80 elevate everything to a new level and is it the best new full-size luxury SUV? Let's go ahead, let's dive into our QX80 autograph and find out. Right off the bat, guess what? You still have that sheer full size vehicle. And I think that's one of those things that when people step up to a QX80, they want to have those proper dimensions, not only for the overall visual experience, but also for the interior room. Now, guess what? From top to bottom and front to back, this is all redesigned. Now at the front of the business, you're going to see new LED lighting. I love the way they have that multi-beam that curves into the front fascia. What's cool is, is that when you have the key fob in your pocket, it's going to give you a, a welcome. Your Infiniti QX80 is going to say, hey, welcome back. And you're actually going to have this lighting that takes place as you walk up to the vehicle and it unlocks the doors for you. And you don't even have to take the key fob out of your pocket but very nicely done with their LED lighting and all the different accents that they bring to that housing. As we drop down, guess what? You have a double stack, double stuff like an Oreo cookie, full LED projector beam headlights. And then below that, check out the massive opening. You could get an In-N-Out burger, actually slide it right through. That's how large this functional corner air curtain is. It's all about channeling air, right? We have a full-size SUV, you still gotta work with drag. And what's great is, is that the designers have taken function and created a form that is so pleasing to the eyes. And definitely, when you see this coming down the road, you're gonna notice all of these different changes. Now, as we come across the front grill area, you're gonna see some familiarities, but let me show you some of the different touches. Of course, we have the double arch design, so up top, they call this piano design the bridge. And then as we work our way down, this is your bit new bamboo forest grill. Love the way it's shaped and accentuated. There's your new infinity badge. Remember a little while back, they talked about how they updated the badge. Really dig how they took the LED lighting, taking that signature lighting to the badge itself. And this is where the roads never end. I mean, look at how it tips in and it goes on forever. We have the world's first not forward-facing camera, but full 170-degree camera up front. So think about that. We have a full-size SUV. Sometimes it could be a little tough to park or to, to be able to navigate down a tight road. With these different pieces of technology, it's going to make it a breeze. And like I said, 170-degree angle up front. You keep working your way down. You have full functionality on this flat lower grill area and I like the way that they sculpted 
the lower lip area. You're gonna have your body color, but then you're also gonna have a little bit of this flat finish just to give you a differentiation of different materials and of course the design. Now, if you notice, this might be sitting a little low. The reason why is we have an all new air ride suspension that when you park, it's actually gonna lower the vehicle and then, of course, as you're driving, it rises back up. You can raise this vehicle, the new QX80, to where you actually have an additional over two inches of ground clearance from your standard driving position. So this is the stuff, like I said, it's gonna give you a nice, comfortable ride, but also the ability to raise when maybe you need that extra ground clearance. Now, as we take the elevator on up, I am in love with what they've done with the hood because they blended the usual signature touches, but you could tell it's an all new design. So we have a totally wide and open hood, but look at what we have. That body line that comes from the top portion of the grill with that dark chrome accent goes into the hood like you've seen on other Infinity products, and then the, the line evaporates. It's gone. Another thing I'm digging is I like the way they didn't go too bulbous with the actual hood body lines. They kept it flat, but you could still see that intention in where they're bringing those infinity design touches and cues as it flows right into our A-pillar. Now, as we come around the bend, like I said, this is sitting in its lowered position, but of course, as you're driving, it will raise up and you have control over this. So if you need that extra ground clearance, you can have that happen. Of course, if we have an all new wrapper, you gotta have new wheels to go with it. And what you're looking at are 22 inch wheels. Love the way they have the black finish and then this dark metal machined aluminum touch to it. Instead of having a bunch of shiny bits all over it, I like the way that they darkened it up to really give it a nice level of luxury. And if you're wondering, well, what's the size of the tire wrapped around this ginormous 22 inch wheel? 275 on the width. And then you're looking, of course, at a 55 series sidewall. You are gonna be able to have that four by four getting the power to the ground. And speaking about power, not only do you have, of course, upgraded brakes, the suspension, the chassis is more rigid. So we actually have a more rigid chassis than the previous generation, which is gonna help the vehicle handle better. It's gonna cut down on noise and vibration harshness that enters the cabin and just allow you to feel more composed when you're behind the wheel. Now, as you rise back up, you'll notice on the fender, all of the clean, crisp lines, you have a functional, not a fake, functional side fender vent. Love the way they bring a little bit of the gloss black and that dark metal finish. Let's talk about underneath the hood. Now, you might need a tissue, I don't know. Some people are gonna need them. There is no longer a V8. Now, before you get the tissue box and you start crying about you don't have a V8 anymore, let me tell you that underneath the hood, you actually have more horsepower and more torque than the previous generation. So what you're looking at is a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 pumping out 450 horsepower, 515 pound-feet of torque. That's over 100 pound-feet of torque more than the previous generation. And remember, torque is what gets you going. Torque is what you need when you're towing and you got your family stuffed in this thing, ready to rock and roll for your family trip. You need the torque to get you going, but you also have about 50 more horsepower. So they're taking care of you on both ends. Another thing that's nice to see is you have that nine speed automatic transmission. And like I said, the familiar four by four setup that has been tweaked and tuned for this all new QX80. But let's continue down the side. Now, when you walk up and you approach the vehicle, not only are you gonna get the welcoming lights from the front, you actually get these side LED lights that illuminate the ground so that you have a nice runway. It's almost like you're a supermodel and you're walking up on the runway to your QX80. You'll notice that we have full power folding side mirrors. And right now the vehicle's locked. So that's why the mirrors are tucked in. You do have 360 degree cameras all the way around. And look at the way that they blacked out the turn signal lighting. Instead of putting like shiny metal finish in there, they just kept it clean, simple, classy. Now, one of my favorite touches is that they kept 
from the concept, they kept the flush mounted door handles. So those will obviously pop out to when you're gonna enter. And then another thing that I think was nice to see carried over is gonna be that long flat roof. I feel like that's such a signature of the QX80 from the previous generation that was very popular and why even to this final year of the previous generation, people still were going after the QX80 because of that flat roof style. But what you'll notice is, is up top, we have almost like a brushed aluminum style finish to the top roof rails. I like the way they did the dark metal all the way along the bottom and all the body lines, I know this may make sense, Yes, they go from front to back, but it's how they do it. If you follow the body line in the front fender and into the door, watch how it just comes and then it just drops off. Really, really like that. And I love the way for the running boards. This has always been a touchy subject with me. I feel like sometimes on some of these SUVs, running boards, they have them come out, but they're not out enough, but they're there that you always hit them on your shin when you get in. I like what they did because what the stylists and the designers did, they carved out that lower portion. So you're actually getting more real estate, but yet it doesn't seem like it's just sticking out like a sore thumb. It's the attention to detail that I think Infinity owners and future owners are gonna spot on this vehicle that's gonna blow their mind. As we work towards the rear, of course, this is still a three row SUV. So you're gonna to wanna to have a nice quarter window to let that light in so that people don't feel claustrophobic in that third row. You'll notice that with the roof line, how it drops down. It's not just simple straight. It's not everything straight cut. They have that design flow that comes into the rear quarter glass and then into that rear spoiler. Here's another thing, so simple, but yet it stands out, autograph. When you see that autograph on the QX80, you know that that's gonna be that top level of premium experience from this brand. And it's nice that it's there, but it's not too gaudy. It's not like in your face, but you can see within the trim, very nicely done. And then of course, when we get to the back, just like we started with the front, I love the piano style of the taillights. You're looking at around, and I, I actually, Lori and I actually counted these because we didn't believe them, 300 LED lights within this rear tail light and lighting experience on the back of this Infiniti QX80. I think it looks so smart and so clean how they spelled out the Infiniti name all with that black chrome finish to it. And then of course, one of my other big things is no rear exposed wiper. They got it right from the get go. It's just going to swing down from that long low roof spoiler. And then as we drop down, I, you'll notice the new badging, the QX80 badge. Look at how they stack the four wheel drive badge next to it. And then of course, you're still gonna get all of your great towing capability with this. But I like the way that they didn't have any exposed exhaust, no fake exhaust like some brands are doing. They just do a nice style to it and you'll notice also how they have the spare mounted under the back of the vehicle. That's gonna help maximize that cargo volume on the interior. If you ever wondered why do they mount tires underneath the back of the vehicle rather than not putting it in the, in the cargo. But definitely big and bold. But while we go ahead, let's get to the interior and see what we're gonna find with this QX80. All right, guys, we are all inside this brand new Infiniti QX80 autograph trim. I know you're saying to yourself, well, Joe, I'm glad that you have gotten access to this vehicle because I was about to pull the trigger on a Cadillac Escalade, but I'm glad that I'm watching this because I think I'm going to hit the pause button because I want to find out more about this QX80. But what are some of the other touches? Well, first of all, you're gonna have seven different colors to choose from. This one is gonna be the Infinity QX80 specific. Another thing to remember is, is that you have all new technology throughout this whole vehicle. Now, starting price is gonna be around MSRP $81,000. And then the top autograph trim, which is what we're in, will be around an MSRP of $109,000. Of course, we will bring you more details 
as we bring you more viewing opportunities and of course the first drive of this QX80. But let's see if QX80 is the way to go and if Infinity has made it worth the wait to the door panels. I absolutely love the all new style and attention to detail. So what you're gonna find is leather throughout, that two-tone with the dark and the white contrast stitching. You'll notice real wood trim. And do you see how the wood has this almost like glimmering design of these diagonal lines? That is actually metal that's been etched into the trim. Two memory seat settings, love the aluminum finish on the door handle, and then a little bit of gloss black around the switch gear, but nothing too, too crazy because the rest of it all has that wonderful leather finish. You're gonna have the premium sound system, that Klipsch sound system, well over 20 speakers, and the aluminum speaker grill covers, and then ambient lighting. 64 colors, Roy G. Biv all day long in your QX80. The bottom portion of the door panel is actually soft touch material. So if you look at other brands, that's an area where they kind of go on the cheaper side of things because they know you're not gonna touch it as much, but Infinity wanted to make sure that they're bringing the new materials throughout the whole door panel. And that door pocket is large enough easily for four In-N-Out burgers and a Pepsi to wash it down. Now going from the door panel to the dash, it continues. Look at all of the special lighting, the Infinity name illuminated on the dash in front of the passenger, the way everything has a nice flow, the two-tone style, the stitching is literally on needlepoint. And then as you slide in, you're not gonna get a 12.3 inch screen, you're getting a little over 14 inches of screen, and there's actually two of them. So you have your 14.3 inch infotainment system screen and your digital gauge cluster. Nice, easy access. We have the most upgraded, updated, highest functioning Google system in a current production av available vehicle. And you'll see how fast the reactions are. Of course, you're gonna have your easy swipe features, all your different apps, a built-in dash cam. So you hit that, now you can record, you can take pictures, you also have an inside camera on the interior as well. And then we have our ultra wide camera. Look at this, that's 170 degrees out the front of the vehicle on both screens. And then you could scroll, you got your 360, you have your ability to go through just about anything. Here we are in our secret location and you could see it on our display. Even looking through the hood, you have that technology to make sure when you're parking, you're gonna keep this QX80 of yours looking good without any dings or dents. Now, going back to the Google Map system, watch this. Hey Google, take me to the Hollywood sign, but along the way, I wanna stop at a Starbucks. doing its thing, it's thinking it through. Looks like your network connection is not stable. So obviously we're in this in. underground ground facility, but what it will do is it will easily map out that direction for you, have the stop along the way. Another thing is you could actually have parking spots that you are familiar with that are located in the infotainment system. This is the stuff that Infinity is bringing. Now you are gonna have a real volume knob, so they're taking care of you to where certain things are gonna be done in the screen, but you still have some physical controls, your start-stop button, of course, and I like the way they have this other touchpad screen for all of your AC controls. I like that much better than having to go into the infotainment. You got three stages of heated seats, three stages of ventilated seats, of course, heated steering wheel, massage seats, not just for the front passengers, but also for the mid-row passengers as well. And then here is how you're gonna control that nine-speed automatic transmission. Nice push button, all blended in very cleanly. You could raise and lower your Infiniti QX80, and you have your different cameras all by the press of a button. You just press it right there, boom. So you don't have to search all over for it. When it comes to the center console, they continue all of the leather finishes 
all of the stitching. Down below, you have a nice little storage area for a purse, a purse, a sack, a satchel, even a fanny pack. You could put that Louis Vuitton fanny pack that your girlfriend gave you. You could keep it down there. And then, of course, the two-tone style. You ready for this? Open up door number one. We have two cup holders and our new infinity key fob. Looking good with the infinity name on the back. We open up door number two, wireless charging, two USB-Cs in there. And that's another thing is you're gonna have a total of eight USB-Cs in here. And then watch this, hit the button, lift it up, and we have a cool box. So I don't know about you, on a hot LA day, I definitely want my Twinkies to be chilled. You could fit easily 24 Twinkies in there and have that nice, cool, cream experience without busting your cream in here because you don't want to mess the interior. Now, when it comes to the seats, a lot going on. First of all, notice how we have the premium speakers built into the headrests. Love the soft touch leather. And you see all of this special stitching. They actually had to train the machines to do these special stitches in between all of the pattern, the autograph name, the bolstering. Of course, you'll be able to adjust these seats 20 different ways from Sunday. Plus, you have your massage setting. And then when you look up, you feel good because you have the Alcantara, you have your full panoramic sunroof, and you have a digital rear view mirror. Now, one thing to point out that's really cool about this QX80 is that there is individual audio. So what I mean by that is I could actually have a phone call conversation over here, and you won't hear it in different parts of the vehicle because what I'm hearing will only happen in my seat, not your seat. Isn't that nice? Because there's sometimes I'm in somebody's car and they start having a conversation about how they didn't pick up the cream for the rash, and I don't wanna find out about that. So it's nice to have that, hey, that's your business, you could have your own phone call. But why don't you come over here? I wanna show you behind the business end, the wheel, all new wheel of this all new Infinity. All right guys, business time behind the wheel of this Infinity QX80. We already got Lori her coffee and she is a coffee connoisseur. So now what I want to do is I want to go to the Hollywood sign because I want to take some photos. I mean, it's only once in a lifetime where you have private access to that, that we're getting with Infinity. So let's go ahead and try this again. Hey, Google, take me to the Hollywood sign. Now what it's going to do is it's going to calculate the best route and it's incredible how it's going to process all that information and then give us, there it is, ready to rock and roll to take us to the Hollywood sign. It's giving me two different choices. Fastest one is 19 minutes. And then you could put those stops along the way. That is what they're doing with the Google technology in this Infinity. But as we drop down, you do have two memory seat settings on the driver's side. I love this aluminum sill plate with all the nice fine etching the Infinity name, illuminated LED. And then as you're driving, it's all fingertip reach to get to all the seat controls and including the massage seat settings. Now, once you make an adjustment on the seat, it actually shows up on the screen as well. So then you can go through the screen or use the physical controls. I'm six feet tall and I'm telling you right now, I got plenty of room in here and this seat is sort of like holding me like a mother holds a newborn baby. It really is cradling me nicely. The piping, the stitching, the soft touch material, and then of course the steering wheel. Where are you gonna put your hands all day? You're gonna put it all over this all new steering wheel. Love the leather, the red contrast stitching, even the way they hollowed out the spokes. And then it's really nice to see a thumb wheel drive control, the Infinity name actually stamped in the leather, and the stitching, not just single stitching, double stitching on the horn button, Really classy with the two-tone. You do have paddles to go up and down that nine-speed automatic transmission. And then you do have a power tilting and telescoping steering wheel. And then like I pointed out earlier, you're getting that 14.3-inch infotainment system that is going to allow you to be able to get through all of the details that you want on the screen. And that's going to allow you to be able to get all the readouts, the different modes, all that different information, and a ginormous, not black and white, but full color 
head-up display. Now, if you're wondering what is that little shape box above the steering wheel, that's for the Pro Pilot Assist, which has been all revamped for this QX80 for 2025. But guess what? Like I said, this has three rows. Let's get into the mid row and see how your passengers are gonna be spoiled in this new QX80. All right, guys, we're in this mid row of this 2025 Infinity QX80 autograph. First of all, because of that nice flat roof, you are gonna get tons of headroom, tons of passenger room for all the passengers. And I think the third row, we're gonna be able to show you that you're gonna get pretty spoiled. Now, one of the new pieces of technology that is in this Infinity is biometric temperature control. So what is happening is there's infrared sensors in the seats that's gonna measure your body temperature and it's gonna control what is happening with the heating and cooling and it happens 50% faster than if you recognize that you were hot and then made the adjustment. So you just sit here, relax, and it's gonna make all those adjustments based off your body temperature. Another thing, mid-row massaging seats. So not only are they heated and cooled, that's nothing new, but you have the biometrics, which is a first, and then you also have massage seating for the mid-row. But let's see what else is going on. You are gonna have these nice large pockets, easily put a couple uh, copies of Forbes magazine, maybe uh, Entertainment Weekly. And then in the back, you do have a nice command center. Your ventilated seats, your heated seats, your AC controls, USB-Cs, and a 12 volt, which is really nice. And then sitting here, like I said, the space, you got the speakers, your AC vents, more of that ambient trim. And then you'll notice the separate command center here in the center. So we open this up, you have your two cup holders, we have remote control setting, all touchscreen for the seats in the mid row. Open up this lid, you have a, a place to where you could put a couple bags of some Lay's potato chips and two USB-Cs. But it's nice to be able to just adjust your seats, not looking for controls, which the controls are there on the side of the seat, but it's nice to just be able to control it right from the touchpad on this screen, just like the people up front. But why don't we go ahead, it's that time. We got a third row, let's get back there and see if your passengers are gonna feel like peasants in this QX8. All right guys, third row time, and look at what they did to the passenger doors here on the rear. They actually carved out more real estate so that you can get to the third row a lot easier than the previous generation. And I can appreciate that being six feet tall. Now, when you slide in, this is really phenomenal, just how you have the headroom. But here's another nice thing. I have my knees are not in my mouth. So I don't wanna eat my knees. I wanna eat my Twinkies, but not my knees. So knees are low. And if you need more room, are you ready for this? Electric control with the recline on the third row. Plus, you're gonna have third row heated seats so think about that. Everybody gets some type of temperature adjustment depending on where they're sitting with the seats. And you have a USB-C on both sides because like I said, you have a total of eight. And even back here, the materials, the cup holders, the seats. This is something important. A lot of brands just kind of take whatever material is laying around and wrap the third row. Not Infinity. You're going to get the same premium leather the special stitching that was done, the piping, even on the third row seats as well. Plus, the Alcantara headliner extends all the way back to the cargo area. But since we're speaking about the cargo area, let's go ahead and check it out because I heard it's been revamped for 2025. All right, guys, time to get in the cargo area. Now, obviously, you're going to have hands-free assist, but I want to open it up the good old fashioned way because they did a great job where they hid the button. A lot of times you have this exposed button and it kind of looks really goofy. Look at how they hit it right within the trim. Hit the button, you get a couple beeps, nice electric assist, it rises up at a quick pace and this is where you're going to be greeted to more cargo room than what you had on the previous generation. So you'll notice we do have a home power source. That's going to be perfect for when you're at the beach, maybe you're tailgating, you're at a park, 
on the passenger side is where you're going to have a plethora of different switch gear. Now you could actually raise and lower the rear of the vehicle. And then of course, you'll be able to raise and lower the seats. All electric assist, 60-40 split, nice one touch operation. So you don't have to stand there with your fingers on the buttons. And what that's going to do is, is obviously now maximize your room. Plus, Lori will be able to give you a bird's eye view of what I was touching in the third row with the rear seat power controls, the USB-C underneath that lid, and the heated seats. But this is where, like I said, Infinity has gone through every nook and cranny, even a little bit of storage underneath. Get yourself some Zagnut bars, some whatchamacallits, whatever you got, you could put them back here, and you have that room and that flexibility. Now, I know that you want to go for a spin in this. So do I, especially with that 450 horsepower twin turbo V6 underneath the hood. But that's going to have to wait. But the good news is not only do we have this review, but there will be another special one coming from New York. So stay tuned for that. But we need to wrap it up and catch our plane home here from LA. All right, guys, this has been a very special experience. I definitely want to thank the whole Infinity team, especially Kyle, for starting out bright and early with us to get us the special access so that we could bring it to you of this all new Infinity QX80 autograph. Let me know in the comment section, are you happy with what you're seeing? Do you feel that this is the best new full-size luxury SUV that you wanna see parked in your garage? Let them know because Infinity is gonna go through those comments with a fine tooth comb. That's what they promised me. So let them know. But until that day, if you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit that subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rides family. Of course, we need to give it up to LG Rady working that camera like a champ, the muscle behind the lens. Thank you, Lori, for all that you do. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.